While there are many similarities between grid connected and off grid installations, there are many differences that need to be taken into account. This basic diagram shows you the main elements in an off grid facility. The PV modules are the same as in grid connected facilities, but there are two new devices a PV regulator and a battery. There is also a special type of inverter and two different types of consumption, direct current and alternating current. There are three concepts to keep in mind when comparing off-grid to grid-connected PV facilities. In off-grid, sometimes called standalone, energy storage is required to ensure energy supply 24-7. Therefore, a battery and a regulator or battery charger, depending on the type of installation, must be included. Second, the inverters must have the capacity to create a grid on their own as they're not connected to any existing stable grid. And finally, where the required consumption is less than two kilowatts, modules with special characteristics may be required. In these types of installation, 12 volt DC modules are used that in fact produce a voltage of 18 volts. Normally, modules produce a voltage of 30 to 32 volts. Because the lower voltage modules are less common, they're more expensive, but there may be some cost savings if regulators with power maximizers are not required. Module manufacturers may provide advice on what is most profitable for a particular project. Grid connected facilities are designed to maximize production over the whole year with minimum investment. Off grid facilities, on the other hand, are designed to produce sufficient energy to match consumption on the worst day of the year. It may be advisable to add additional generation capacity, such as a backup diesel generator, but even so, consumption needs on the worst day of the year is still the basic measure. In the table on this slide, you can see the worst month of the year in Madrid would be December, with a production of 2.15 kilowatt hours per day. But production can be optimized during this month to get 2.4 kilowatt hours per day. This option will need to be considered, even if it means an oversupply over most of the year. 